and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Sun Cafe on the 55th floor? I think it's actually 52nd. 52nd floor of the Mori well, the Mori Tower here in Rapongi Hills. That's where we are today. Um, so we, we came from our hotel this morning over to Rapongi. We're in the Rapongi Hills building on the 52nd floor. We're going to visit the museum here today, but not the standard art museum. We're actually going to a special exhibit uh, of Carcaptor Sakura. So we're here uh, to see the Sakura exhibition. The museum, what are they called? Like Enchanted, Enchanted Museum. It's got a special name, they're calling it the Enchanted Museum. Uh, we have this most amazing seat right by the windows out on the 30, 52nd floor, 52nd floor, uh, which looks out onto Tokyo Tower. It's an amazing view out here. Uh, we decided to come straight to the cafe rather than going to the exhibition because it's a weekend, which means that the cafe is going to get really, really busy. So we're doing cafe first. And we're going to have all the sweet noms here and then we're going to go into the exhibition after. So come along with us today, this is going to be cool. Um, this is a short-lived exhibition. Stephen knows when it's going on too. Do you know when it's going on? It's March. No, the 3rd of January. <gasps> That's it! Yeah, it's so moving to Osaka at some point next Oh, okay, so it's moving to Osaka. So uh, you may be able to see it in Osaka if you go there. You won't be able to see it in Mori Tower, but you'll be able to see it in Osaka. Um, so at least it'll be a good view of maybe what's going to happen over there, or at least just a nice historical account of this wonderful museum. Anyway, cool. All right, food's about to come. Um, I'll show you what we got on the menu first. So this is the menu. This is, I believe, a shrimp burger. Um, we have a curry here with supi chan on it. This is takoyaki. Um, pasta, a curry bun with kiro on it, uh, sakura parfait, which I think has it's loads and loads of cherry flavors on that, and uh, this is the dessert which we're most likely to go for, which has uh, sort of the three, like it's supi, kiro, and what's the bunny called Momo, again? Momo-chan. Momo -chan. I should, really should remember that. That's something <laughs> I should definitely remember. This is afternoon tea here, and finally, Stephen was telling me at the bottom here, is a collection of drinks. Um, where you get, it's the same drink, um, but you get different uh, sort of syrups that you can put into it. It's all non-alcoholic. Right, food has arrived, so let's try this. First things first, I think I'm going to try the drink. It's uh, got some tapioca pearls at the bottom, and mine has the matcha flavor mixed in. Mm, it's nice. It's subtle. It's not too crazy. Mm. And I like the tapioca. I'm going to try some of the top of the sakura parfait. Um, because I think there's a lot of layers to go. The strawberry cream is good. And try the panna cotta thing that's on the top. Oh, it's dense. Mmm, I'm very cherry. I like that. Stephen's already half decapitated soupy. Anyway, here we go. Soupy chan. Oh, the flavor comes at the end. Mm. Is it chocolatey? No, I, I, think it's, it I think it's cassis again. Oh. I thought it was all a fruit thing going on. It's kind of bland and then it gets some flavour. Okay, I'm going to go Kiro. He's like a fruity, creamy, almost panna cotta type of thing. I like Kiro ones too. Momo is just a beach side out there. Momo wins. The food was delicious. It cost us in the end around 6,000 yen, so it's not cheap. Um, I often find that those anime or theme cafes here in Japan are not cheap at all, um, but it was really good. Um, we are now queuing up to enter into the exhibit. It's about a 40 minute wait to get in right now. It's a Sunday, so it's busy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Oh, cool, so it's signed by Clamp. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, this is amazing. This is a relationship map. So, brother and sisters, cousins, 
dear friends um what they they know, uh, are called dear person dear people um people who are living together this is pretty cool it's a book showing all of the costumes or all of the costumes or some of the famous costumes this is one you based today's outfit on yes let's see very nice where there's a small special movie to see. I don't think there's any cameras, so I'll tell you about it on the other side. Oh, it's so good. It's everywhere, look. Uh, when we entered the museum, uh, we actually exchanged our tickets uh, for some goods. We bought tickets that had um, some goods attached to them. So it looks like that Steve and I both got a, a book each. We had an option to buy an audio guide as well. We didn't get the audio guide this time. Um, it's in Japanese and Kiro reads it, we think. Um, but it would be all in Japanese. Kiro, and who else reads the audio? UA. We looked around the first room, which had a collection of books that sort of introduced the series. Uh, we then saw the little movie just in there, which didn't get any video of, obviously, because it's a special movie. It was Kiro uh, showing some of the clear cards and um, uh, introducing the museum. And now we've come into this flower room. See, you're all caught up. Oh, you add to it. Oh, she, did we get a sticker from the lady? Oh, cool. Oh, that's amazing. So we pick the stickers and then we add to it. Yeah, I think you look is my favorite color as well. Oh, I'm gonna do that one to you. So the flower card represents fun and decorates everything with flowers, apparently. Uh, so we're going to be doing the same thing. Oh, there's some other yellow flower over here. So maybe I'll do the same thing. I love how people have stuck them to the floor. That's awesome. I think I'm gonna put mine over here somewhere. This room is supposed to represent uh, Tomoyo's collection of fabrics and designs for all of Sakura's outfits. Uh, let's go around and check out a few. said anything in a while um, because the room at the back there with the green wall you couldn't take any pictures or video in uh, it had a collection of manga art original artwork and manga covers um, that was using the maze card right yeah. so Sakura used the maze card to create that room and we were sort of weaving around this maze it was really really cool so the room that we're in at the moment is actually using the record card Sakura used the record card to uh, record scenes or sort of things that allow us to remember about uh, the stories and so this is what's being depicted here and the room with the outfits um, Sakura had used the siege card and so had gathered all those outfits and Tomoyo's materials and that's why we had sort of the white curtains that were falling because we were inside the box that the siege creates right Stephen's checking my facts <laughs> you can have a picture with a giant Kuro-chan so I am definitely lining up for this <laughs> that's so cute he's ginormous we saw the original cards over the other side and these are the Sakura versions of the cards uh, so exactly the same set on uh, opposite walls it's amazing actually this room they've got that the clear card in the middle and I think the, the set of clear cards at the back. That clear card does work by the way, the one in the middle if you turn around the other side. <laughs> you can see um, the square that they have on the other side of the card and that's the original clear card set.
that's it. Finally, Sakura uses the card happiness um, to say thank you to us and to welcome us to the gift shop. Is that ah? Aligato gozaimas. Totori. Ah, we got a special gift. That's amazing. We can't take video of the shop goods, I'm not going to do that. Um, but just at the back wall, uh, they have a Sakura's Battle Costume Design Contest. And we think that these are all of the designs that got submitted. It's really amazing. I quite like this one, the planet one. The planet one is my favorite. That's so cool. But it looks like this is probably the one that won it. That's cute, isn't it? And they made the costume of it. I think so. I'm assuming that would be. Yeah. And then they had that picture there, so I thought maybe that was the winner. Oh, maybe that was the winner. I don't know. It's cute anyway. Uh, I don't know where we're going. Uh, we're on our way out now, just on our way out of the building. We came from the 52nd floor down to here, the 4th, well, we actually came to the 3rd and went up to the 4th. And we found this nice poster here, which is advertising for that are certain shops around for Pongi Hills are selling Sakura branded goods. So like things such as um, hand towels, soap, cookie cupcakes and these kind of things it's really really awesome anyway i want to say thank you so much for coming along today um the sakura museum here in rapongi hills is probably going to be closed by the time this vlog goes up but apparently it's reopening in osaka so if you want to go see it the best thing to do is to check out there um otherwise i'm off now steve and i are going to be going somewhere in tokyo <laughs> the following vlog will explain where we're going i don't know where we're going yet um so i will see you all then thank you so much for watching see you next time okay bye